Race strategy is at the heart of modern motorsport, and Formula E is no exception. Choosing the right strategy can be a subtle art, so who better to explain it than the drivers? One of the most important things in Formula E racing is the battery or energy management. And you have to think about we have two cars and one whole race. So the optimal strategy is always to use half of the race, one car, half of the race, another car. Degrassi is explaining the ideal scenario, one of four key strategies available to the drivers. A leader will try and control the race from the front, setting a similar pace and using energy equally between the cars, as Jean-Éric Verne did last time out in Paris. You don't really want to build a gap of five seconds because it's kind of useless. You're better off saving energy, letting the guy close behind you, but always in a range that he cannot overtake you, and save your energy for later in the race. For those not out front, an alternative strategy can be used to make up places. All three were seen in Paris. Extend your first stint by saving some energy to go a lap longer. With a lap less to do in your second car, you can then afford to attack more in the second half of the race. Lucas de Grassi converted a sixth place qualifying to second in the race with some overtakes late on. Look at de Grassi now, he senses blood in the water. Qualify midfield or worse, you may choose to attack in the first stint to gain track position, pit a lap earlier, and then defend in the second half of the race. Just like 14th place qualifier Daniel App did, finishing seventh at the chequered flag. I put the shortest stint on the first car, which just gave me the chance to really go for it, which of course meant that my second stint was a bit harder, but in the end I think it was the right strategy in that race. I made up a lot of positions and uh, worked out quite well. If you've qualified right at the back, you may choose to conserve energy by coasting at the start. Mortara in the silver car, not even trying at the first corner, just cruising up to the back of the pack when they all slowed at the tight hairpins. This approach allowed him to go much longer on his first stint, putting him into contention for points until he crashed. But as Mortara showed, the best laid plans don't always work in Formula E. Basically, we define one strategy before the race, but in Formula E, a lot of stuff happens, so you have to adapt yourself to how the race goes. Is there a safety car, full course yellow, and therefore you need to always adapt a bit to the situation. Get it wrong and you can run out of energy, as we saw with Lotterer in Paris, and also Buemi, who had to coast into the pit lane. When I entered the pit, I had no more energy, zero. And I just went to the box with the momentum I had. So another corner and that would have been it. But get it right and it can pay dividends. Strategy has been always my strong point, you know, season one where all the cars were the same, that was the reason why I won the first championship. Saving a lot in the right times, pushing in the right moments, they need to be able to react very quickly when things happen in the race. It's a bit like playing chess at 200 km per hour. You have to prepare right the attack and attack at the right time and defend and conserve energy at the right time. By doing that you can have a good race. For weekly Formula E videos, click subscribe on the left hand side. To watch the next one, click the icon in the centre and remember to hit the like button and leave your comments down below.